Hello and welcome everyone to another Power BI video. I'm Sumit from Nice Software Solutions and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the visual header tooltip. So here's the scenario. I've got a Power BI report here that helps me to analyze the performance of various restaurants across the globe. And as expected, this report has a few interaction points as well. So if I choose a continent from the map visual, it filters all the KPIs on the left. Similarly, it also filters the visual at the bottom to show the top 5 restaurants by average rating for the selected continent. Now, If I want to analyze the data at a more granular level, I can right click on the continent and drill down to country. I can further drill down on country and get to the city level and then see the top performing restaurants for the city of my choice. Now this makes the analysis a lot more relevant for me. However, just looking at this report, it's not very easy to understand where to make all these clicks. To answer this question, we often add text boxes with instructions in it, like this one, or even this one. But even then, the users overlook the instructions and come back to us with queries. Now the purpose of this video is to show you how to give the user some more visual assistance about the interactivities. So first, what I did is, I created a video demonstration of how to use this report. Of course, there are various tools available using which you can create such screencasting videos. I've used Camtasia Studio to create this one. Now, it's very important that you save the video as a GIF file, which I've already done. Just in case you don't know, GIF files are more like an animated version of an image file and they don't support any audio. So once you've got a GIF file ready, let's head back to Power BI Desktop and implement it. Let's create a new page and call it as Video Tooltip. I want the contents of this page to be used as a tooltip and I don't want anybody to navigate to this page so I'll make this page hidden. I'll go to the page formatting pane, expand the page information section and then turn on the tooltip setting. I'll also go to the page size section and select custom from the type list. The reason why I'm setting these numbers is because these are the exact dimensions of my GIF file as well. The next step would be to expand the page background section click on the add image and then select the GIF file you've just created. Also set the transparency to zero and then the image fit as fill. Now I can see the video playing on this page on a continuous loop. Now let's associate this page with the map visual header tooltip. So let's go back to the first page now, select the map visual and go to the format tab. Turn on and expand the visual header section Scroll right at the bottom and make sure that the visual header tooltip icon is turned on. The moment you turn on this setting, a new section would appear called as visual header tooltip. Expand this new section and from the report page list, select video tooltip, which is the name of the page we just created. Now on the top right corner of the map visual, you'll see a new icon has popped up that looks like a question mark. And if you hover on that icon, you will see the video demonstration popping out as a tooltip. Now this is a great way to make the users understand where to make all the clicks and overall how to use the report. So this is how you can use the visual header tooltip and help the users understand the interaction points of a report. It's a simple but very effective feature. Try this out on your report today if you haven't done it already and I'm sure you're going to love it. For any further queries, reach out to us on the contact details flashing on your screen right now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.